Beware, Windows 11 may be causing issues with some HDDs and SSDs. Windows updates have been causing issues with some storage devices. Therefore, you may need to use caution to prevent losing data. If you have an affected drive, please make sure you back it up. Now let's talk about the specific update so you know which update revision to watch out for. The update KB506-3878 and KB506-2660, more for test testers, beta testers of Windows 11. The update may cause failures on drives when downloading large amounts of data, mainly write tests. Uh, for example, you could be writing large amounts of files like games, for example, programs in your drive may break. Most of these issues may have been found by users who have had problems for benchmark storage devices. I don't think Windows or storage device manufacturers were the ones that, that found this problem. Now, this is very recent, but this is an important note due to the possibility of losing data on your drive. Now, some drives will be more costly than others. For that reason, I have to prepare myself as well to avoid losing important data. A web publication had a note that continuous writes of 50 gigabytes or more can cause this problem. It can cause errors and break the drive. After the continuous write, the system does not recognize the drive and a reset will yield your system unusable due to the drive missing. But remember, this is for some drives, not for all of them. SSDs affected are based on all the main market controllers like SMI, Inogrid, Samsung, Fison, and WD, which is Western Digital. So majority of drives uh, so majority of drives in the market and we will see an official list of the drives so what I'm going to do I'm going to make my image smaller so you guys can see well and we have here the website right and basically in each PC gamer uh, they run a test on multiple drives to see which ones were the affected ones right and uh, they found these ones to be affected Corsair Force MP600 and if you want to pause the video and find your uh, your drive, go ahead. And the following drives appear to be unaffected. Solid MP44, Pro, Samsung uh, 980, which is pretty popular. Uh, SanDisk, and they have other ones here for the affected and not affected. And this is uh, some specific drives to that were affected by the issue. And you can see most of them were able to uh, recover after a restud, restart or they were uh, re-enabled. Uh, this one in particular, SA510 of Western Digital, uh, did not restore after reboot and it was inaccessible. Corsair uh, recover, all these recovered. And these are some of the non-affected ones. So if you're on that list, I'm gonna say something. Even if you're on this list, I would encourage you to maybe possibly uh, remove the installation because it's very recent and over time it might more drives might come up with uh, this issue so let's do something let me show you how to check what kind of drives you have right so i like to type information and you go to system information here and let's see i'll make it smaller so you can see well and you can see here we have uh, components you drop it down and you go to storage and you go to disks you're going to have your disks in here. Now, this is not my main disk. This is the one Samsung SSD 980 Pro 2 terabytes. I know I have my Windows uh, installation here, and this is just a uh, file uh, M.2 NVMe that I have. So we have the 980 Pro, which seems to be unaffected, but I'm still going to remove that installation and I'm going to wait to do an installation until they fix this issue because I don't know what, what might happen and I have a lot of important files on my computer. So I'm going to exit out of here and let's go to updates. And you're more than welcome to go on the internet and check uh, different uh, news channels and information regarding this matter so that you are more um, informed about this issue. And basically here, you can go to update history and you can see here all the different updates, right? Look at that, 3878. This is the cumulative one. But if we want to go and uninstall, okay, we got to go to update history and then we go all the way down and it says uninstall updates. We got to find the KV506-3878. And you don't have to do this if you have all your backups and you uh, are not concerned. But I mean, at it's, it's a good uh, measure of caution. So I'm going to do it. 3878, and I'm going to do uninstall. 
Okay, so I finished, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart later, because I don't want to restart right now. And some, some other things that you can do as well is you can pause it for a couple weeks, and you can keep, uh, let's say you want to extend, and then 920. So you, you can keep extending it for one week, two weeks, whatever you want. And if you want to resume updates, you resume updates. When you see that uh, maybe this issue is uh, fixed, or you positively know, that your drive is not affected. Now, uh, check uh, all the information on the web. Uh, make sure you are well informed about this because if you have one of these, uh, uh, like this one, for example, the SA510 Western Digital, I mean, it's concerning that uh, you may lose your data and it might not um, be accessed after even restarting it. So just uh, measure, uh, be cautious. And if you have any questions down in the comments, let me know. Uh, this is a fairly uh, recent issue. And most likely, nah, you're not going to be affected. It's, it's not a major reason of uh, concern. But there is always a possibility that your system may um, have an issue. This is why I wanted to uh, make the video quickly and put it out there for everyone to see. Okay, and you all take care. Be careful. And we'll talk later.